Hi everybody, welcome back to another Tarot Tea Time. This one is gonna be a quick sip. We are sipping on the please, please, please music video and song by Sabrina Carpenter featuring her boyfriend, Barry Kogan, who's a rumored bad boy, which is of course why this song, the music video, all of it has so much hype. It seems very true to life. So we're gonna pull a couple of cards. By the way, if my audio sounds crazy right now, I'm so sorry. I can literally hear myself echoing. We're here in Aruba on the <laughs> on my Mercury line in astrocartography, which I'm gonna be talking to you guys about in the next podcast episode. So excited. Let me show you guys the scenery. Hold on. You gotta see this. Anyway, it is our last full day here in Aruba, and I'm just in the mood to spill a little bit of tea for you guys. So let's get into it. All right. First and foremost, please, 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 let's go with the theme. Let's draw some cards about Barry Keoghan. Now, I did watch a video that Sloan put out that I thought was really, really good about his past. He had such a sad childhood. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. So, you know, I'm really glad that he has become successful. I'm glad that he made it. Sloan has a really good video if you guys want to check that out and just kind of get to know his background. Um, but it just sounds like he went through so much as a child. He had a really, you know, good attitude about it. Worked really hard to get where he is today. So that's amazing. Um, but let's just see, is there any reason that Serena Carpenter would need to feel like he could embarrass her mother ever? <laughs> this song is stuck in my head so much. I can't stop. I can't stop like singing in my head. I'm obsessed. And it sounds like early Dolly Parton to me, which I just love it. This is the era of Sabrina Carpenter. I talk about it in the podcast episode that I've been editing since I've been here. Sorry, I've been so slow on the edit. Oh my God. I've just been like enjoying the vacation, trying to just, you know, zone out. And, uh, but in that I talk a little bit about it because she had such a huge career glow up after putting out five albums. She is finally in the spotlight where she has always been destined to arrive. I want to do a whole deep dive on her. She's so interesting, her numerology, all of it. But basically this is like her, you know, the aftermath of Jupiter being right there with her son, her Taurus son. So she had a huge glow up last year, as we know, starting with the Eras tour and now she's just everywhere and it's just going to keep getting bigger and better for her. So, you know, she doesn't want to be embarrassed. She doesn't want to make a mistake in love. We get it, don't we? So let's just pull some cards on Barry. What's his vibe right now? Let's do a past, present, future. Let's really just hone in on him <laughs> as a boyfriend, as a partner. Okay. And again, this is all for entertainment purposes only. All in good fun. We wish everybody the best and we just send everybody love. All right. In the past. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Okay, so in the past, yes, please, please, please. She had a reason, and so did anyone else who was dating him, to be concerned that he may break their hearts, embarrass them, whatever, because Seven of Swords is our card of lying and deceit, okay? Just saying that's what the tarot tea is talking about. Um, yeah, this is just like sneaky things. You know, the kind of guy who is definitely an F boy, all right? <laughs> so that was the past. All right, what about the present? Present vibes coming from him. Ooh, the judgment card. Okay, I really like that. So this is a grow up, glow up period for him. Uh, the judgment card is associated with Saturn, so maturity. Also, this is a card associated with Libra, which is his sun sign. So this is talking about maturity. This is him showing up as himself. So to go from a seven of swords to the judgment card, major arcana, um, Saturn energy balance, Libra energy of his sun sign. This is talking about going from immaturity to maturity. I really, really like this. Oh my God. Okay. This is really good. I'm going to say this song, the reason that she was able to sing this, put it out there and have him as the star is because of the, of the music video is because she actually does have faith in him. It's like a show of comfort and trust to be able to actually like 
feature him and share this song. Maybe she wrote this at a time when they first got together and there was a little bit of like insecurity. I think they're past that now because I think that he has definitely, um, let's say a ref been a reformed F boy, okay? <laughs> so I like this. This is maturity, this is stability, this is him showing up as his best self, the judgment card, um, showing good judgment. I really, really love that. Oh my God, this is like so, you couldn't get a better transformation here. Okay, next, the future. What's next? This is in the next six months. What is his attitude going to be? Let's see. please, please, please tell us to the tarot tea. Can't stop singing it in my head. Okay, ooh, I like it. Six of Wands. This is best friend of the year awards card. This is like a little trophy, but the six of wands, this is friendship. This is very generous energy. Sixes are all about harmony and to have a six of wands. This is passion, but passion grounded and rooted in friendship. Now in the very beginning, when they first started dating, we did a couple of tarot tea times on them and I got a lot of friendship energy. So I do think that this is a relationship and a connection that's built on friendship. Just got goosebumps, so confirmation. Um, it's built in friendship and I think that it has progressed. It has progressed into more passion and I think that in the future, it's going to continue to be stable at least within the next like six months or so. So I really like this. I think it's positive. Let's see, okay, maybe we'll pull a couple more cards, but I really, I like this. I feel like the tarot tea came through. The tarot tea was talking, as we say. All right, anything about Sabrina? We can't leave, close this reading out without at least getting her current energy. Let's see, watch, it's like the star card. <laughs> the star, the sun, the queen of wands. It's gonna be something good, you know it. The King of Wands, ah, <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I said the Queen of Wands, well, you know, Spirit's like, kind of, but the King of Wands. And I don't really love, this is like gender-based. I told you guys before I wanna come up with my own tarot cards because I don't think the King should be higher than the Queen because that's annoying. We all know everybody's equal, the King and Queen are equal. But in traditional tarot, the King of Wands is considered like, even more of the wand energy than the queen of wands. So this is like one step above. So this is like very passionate energy. The message overall is like passionate energy, feeling fired up, feeling like you are living in your purpose. Again, the wands are associated with the solar plexus chakra, which I love that solar plexus chakra energy. It's all about coming from your core and really like following your path, being excited about life and being powerful. She is in her excited, happy, powerful era. And I love that. So this card perfectly represents her energy right now. And I just love it. I love it. So that was my reading on please, please, please. I kept it short and sweet because it's time to go to the beach. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and thank you for being patient while I go on vacation. I needed a little break and I am gonna be so excited to come back and do more lives and see you guys when I'm very refreshed. But I love y'all and I hope you enjoyed that.